Hello and welcome to Animals channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about 5 animals that became extinct because of human behavior. Number 5 in our list is the dodo. The dodo was a flightless bird that was native to the island of Mauritius, which is located in the Indian Ocean. It was about 3 feet tall and weighed more than 40 pounds. It had a large beak, plump body and small wings that were unsuitable for flights. The dodo lived on a diet of fruit, seeds and small animals and was first discovered by European sailors in the late 16th century. Due to its flightless nature and lack of fear of humans, it was easily hunted by sailors for food and also its eggs. By the late 17th century, the dodo has become extinct. Today, it's one of the most famous examples of extinction and serves as a reminder of the impact that humans can have on wildlife and their habitats. Despite the dodo's extinction, it has remained a popular cultural icon and has been featured in numerous work of art, literature and media. Number 4 in our list is the great auk. The great auk was another flightless bird that was native to the North Atlantic and was once found along the coastlines of North America, Europe and Greenland. It was a large bird around 2.5 feet tall and weighing around 10 pounds and had a distinctive appearance with a large head, short wings and a bulky body. The great auk lived on a diet of fish and other marine animals and nested on rocky cliffs along the coast. However, despite its size and flightless nature, it was highly valued by sailors for its feathers which were used to stuff pillows and beddings. The great auk was also hunted for food and its eggs were harvested for food and also trade. By the mid 19th century, the great auk's population has declined dramatically and the last known pair was killed in 1844 on the island of LD off the coast of Iceland. The great auk is now considered to be extinct and serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of overexploitation of wildlife and their habitats. Today, the great auk is featured in many works of art and literature including paintings, sculptures and books. Now it's time for the passenger pigeon. The passenger pigeon was a bird that was native to North America and was once one of the most abandoned bird species on the continent. It lived in large flocks that could number in the millions and was known for its distinctive cooing call and fast and erratic flights. The passenger pigeon lived on a diet of acorns, beech nuts and other mast and nested in large colonies often numbering in the millions of birds. However, despite its abundance, the passenger pigeon faced a number of threats including habitat loss due to the deforestation and hunting for food and feathers. By the 19th century, the passenger pigeon's population had declined dramatically and last wild bird was seen in 1900. The last captive passenger pigeon, a female named Martha, died in 1940 at the Cincinnati Zoo. Nowadays, the passenger pigeon is remembered as one of the most important symbols of the impact that humans can have on the wildlife. And its extinction serves as a reminder of the importance of conservation efforts to protect endangered species. Number two is the quagga. The quagga was a subspecies of the plain zebra that was native to southern Africa. It was named for its distinctive coat pattern which was characterized by strips on the front of the body and solid brown coloration on the hindquarters. The quagga was slightly smaller and stockier than other zebras and had a slightly different stripping pattern on its legs. The quagga was once common in southern Africa, but its population reduced significantly in the 19th century due to the hunting for its meats height and tails as well as habitat loss. The last captive quagga died in Amsterdam Zoo in 1883 and the species was declared extinct. Efforts are underway to bring the quagga back from extinction 
through a breeding program known as the Quagga project. This project uses selective breeding to produce descendants that resemble the original subspecies. While these descendants are not considered true quagga, they provide insight into what quagga was like and help to conserve the genetic diversity of the plains zebra. And finally, the number one in the list is the thylacine, which also known as the Tasmanian tiger. Thylacine was a carnivorous marsupial native to Australia and the island of Tasmania. It was the largest known carnivorous marsupial with distinctive stripped pattern on its back and powerful jaw with sharp teeth. It's lived in a variety of habitats including forest, grassland and coastal regions and hunted mainly at night preying on small mammals and birds. Despite its fearsome reputation, the thylacine was a shy and elusive animal that was difficult to observe in the wild. The thylacine was hunted by European settlers in Australia and Tasmania for its fur and also it was seen as a threat to livestock. The species population reduced tremendously in the late 19th and early 20th century and the last known thylacine died in captivity in 1936. Today the thylacine is considered to be extinct. However, efforts are on the way to gather information about the thylacine and its biology, including through the examination of preserved specimens and historical records in order to better understand this fascinating and now extinct species. These are just a few of the many species that have been lost due to human activities. It's important to remember that our actions have far-reaching consequences and it's crucial that we work to protect the biodiversity of our planet. Thank you for joining us today and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us to make better videos for you.